St. Paul's Chapel is one of the great masterpieces of architecture on the Columbia campus. Uh, and it's part of the original master plan for Columbia that Charles McKim drew up in the 1890s. The exterior is quite beautiful and actually quite colorful, not only the yellow marble, but there is green tile on the roof uh, and it's very, very dramatic. The building itself is really special to the campus. It is one of the non Mickey meat and white buildings and it's one of the three New York City landmarks we had. The restoration project started as just a, um, what we thought would be a roof replacement and we got access to get closer up to the terracotta tile roofs. And when we got up there, we discovered there's a lot more that maybe needed to get done. And so we got closer to the stained glass window example up in the drum, there's 16 of them. And we saw that their shape was starting to change. They were, you know, they needed cleaning. So we're like, okay, we need to add that to the project. And next thing we know, it kept growing. We really sat down and looked at who was trained in it, who had experience putting in a terracotta tile roof. It's not your regular everyday type of roof. It really takes a certain type of skill. They need to know the type of, you know, underlayments involved on top of how to place those tiles. So we looked at all of that and we said, okay, first we start with the preservation architect. Walter B. Melvin Architect is a, a firm that's been in the city working primarily on the restoration of exteriors for 45 years. Um, we love jobs like this because they're great buildings and we love to maintain them and restore them and, and, and really make sure that they have a long, long life in the city. The first category of repairs would be kind of make the building safe. The next category of repairs would like make the building maintainable. The next category of repairs is you know, a little better than that. And then there's like the jewel box. This is a jewel box for us. Our entire team met on site one day to go through how the survey was gonna happen. You know, this is how we sound, this is what we're looking for. And to figure out the profile mortar, you, you can't really tap on that or you're gonna actually damage it. So we came up with a system of, you know, running our hands across it um, so that we were touching every joint. The windows that we worked on at the chapel are the windows in what's an area called the drum, which is up at the top of the uh, building and uh, sometimes referred to as clear story windows. A lot of the wording and the dates that were applied to the window were applied with a glass paint that gets fired and this was all coming off. We call that fragile paint. We did a lot of processes that will uh, extend the life of these windows. The glass will virtually last forever. It's the structure around it that tends to deteriorate. And instead of just attacking the symptoms, we remove the forces that make these windows fail. We try not to make windows as good as new. We try to make windows as good as old. It's been very important for me uh, that we care for our own building and we've done a tremendous uh, amount of renovation. And it's been great for our student to be able to see you know how that restoration happens hands-on and be able to visit the site with the direct access right here to a to basically a conservation construction site so that's been very exciting when you do a restoration project you want to come in and you want to do your work and walk away as if you never touched it in a good way it was thrilling to see the building uh, when the scaffolding came down and the netting wasn't there and the brickwork had been, been cleaned and the, the place really glowed in much the way that uh, Stokes uh, had intended it to. In recognition of this project's outstanding work to preserve the architectural heritage of the city, we are very proud to have received two awards on that front, one from the Victorian Preservation Society and the other from the Landmarks Conservancy. And the Lucy G. Moses Award is considered the Oscar of uh, Preservation Awards, and it's quite an honor to have received that on behalf of the university. St. Paul's Chapel is one of the most treasured buildings on the university campus, and I truly believe that through the perseverance and diligence of the uh, restoration team, St. Paul's Chapel will be cherished for many, many years to come.